Good Saturday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. A few minutes late, but kicking the Wi-Fi receiver into submission needs to, a couple of minutes to get everything taken care of. So as of right now, we're back on the air and keeping you updated as to what's going on with the information. If you missed the forecast, updated information on daybreak. We just got off the air with that at about 9 o'clock this morning. We'll be back on the air again later on tonight at about 5 o'clock or so, depending on how long the Masters go, maybe around 6 o'clock and hopefully that won't delay our forecast any more into the 10 o'clock show but we'll see how that goes again it's golf so it may take a little while to get going never joined us before for this first of all welcome to the show i'm meteorologist austin onick this is our live video weather blog that we do again it's called weather overtime a little bit of an extended look at the forecast to give you an idea as to what's going on out there we'll take a look at a whole bunch of other information coming up here in just a little bit so stay tuned for a lot of details as to various locations in the mid-south We'll take a look at Skywarn meetings coming up here in just a little bit. Drop your location, not your mailing address. Thank you for those of you who forwarded that along, but we don't need that much information. Just your city and state will do nicely and let us know what's going on with your weather information out there, especially anything north of I-40 this morning where we're picking up some snow showers out there. No, I'm not kidding about that. Yes, it is happening. No, we're not faking that. Got all that taken care of. There, I said it. I feel better now. So, as of right now, if you have any reports out there, we've got reports of snow coming down around northeast Arkansas and northwest Tennessee, and we're going to continue to see that throughout the course of the rest of the morning, getting into some snow showers a little bit later on. We'll talk about that coming up here in just a little bit. Can't stick around for the whole forecast. That's okay. We've got it in a nutshell for right here and in the blue bar down at the bottom of your screen, scrolling along quite nicely here. And if that's not enough for you, 7 to 10 day forecast and other details available at wreg.com slash weather. Currently, again, some chilly conditions. Keep in mind, normal for this time of the year, normal high temperatures should be back around 70 degrees. We're going to be about 25 degrees cooler than that as we get into the rest of the day today. So lower to mid 40s, that's it and that's all where it comes to temperatures out there. And whatever we have in the way of a mixture, we'll be dropping into more of a shower mode taking place a little bit later on today. So we will see that chance of light mixture continuing off and on throughout the course of the area. Several reports in the comments sections uh, showing again some areas picking up some rain, some some snow. Tyrell, McMahon, Blytheville, light snow in 29. Sleet and snow in Covington, Tennessee, snow up around Arkansas, Missouri area. Mark Simmons, thank you very much uh, for that one, checking in for the time uh, being from there. Very cold in Marion, also from Mark Simmons, thank you very much. Donna Brown, cold in Memphis, and cold in Olive Branch, thank you very much uh, for those respects into that area. Uh, Riyad Gaucher, too cold, we need good weather. Stay tuned. We'll get that taken care of coming up here in just a little bit. Taking a look at some of our webcams around the area, Clarksdale, Mississippi, lots of cloud cover out there, some damp to wet roadways from some of those earlier showers from this morning that moved on through. A little further over east of that area in Oxford, Mississippi, again, the campus picking up some wet areas just around the Grove, Student Union, and around Ventress Hall on the Ole Miss campus for right now. Germantown, Tennessee, mostly cloudy. Poplar Pike in Germantown, traffic light for a Saturday morning and moving along pretty well. Chilly this morning, 30s, and check out those winds, 20 miles per hour out of the north, taking wind chills easily down into the lower 20s out there. Rhodes College campus, temperatures again back in the 30s for this morning. And overcast skies looking back to the northwest, but no sunshine out there. Live view from the area around I-2, or pardon me, I-55 and Goodman Road in South Haven. Lots of overcast skies, traffic picking up, but moving along very well at this time. And downtown Memphis also looking back north upstream on the Mississippi River, showing some cloudy skies out there for the time being. Mississippi River with all that extra rain and snow north of us, all that water's got to drain someplace, so that next crest is coming downstream. The river will be going up above what's called action stage around the 28 foot mark Monday morning. That just means that again a lot of the bottom lands over here and up to around Carothersville, Osceola and into southeast Missouri will be starting to flood once again but it doesn't look like it's going to be sticking around for long. Matter of fact into the next two to three weeks 
if we stay dry, the river should be dropping very quickly into about two to three weeks from now. So definitely some good news on that. All right, Storm Tracker 3S radar, some area speckles around the Memphis Metro. Not seeing a lot of problems out here, but you may see some windshield wiper need out there with your rain and snow mixture coming down uh, into and around the area for the time being. So this is where we see, again, the uh, possible problems for anything out there. Stephanie Tudor, do you ever get tired of misspelled twos? Also, anything else? Uh, yeah, I'm human too, so I have a tendency to misspell stuff, so I'm not going to call out uh, the spelling errors. I have a lot of other things to take care of. I'll leave the uh, corrections to the self-correct and also to the uh, English and language teachers out there, but uh, thank you for asking on that uh, for this morning. Scobie, Mississippi, Patricia House, welcome to the show. Cindy Dunaj Cody, hope I'm saying that right. Have we had snow in April before? I'm sure parts of the Mid-South have had various snow showers out there before. Uh, it's very rare. It does not happen that much, but it does happen from time to time. And when the conditions are right, again, we can get snow in parts of the United States that have not seen it even into around early May. So something to take a look at there uh, on the forecast, but a very good question. Thank you very much. Paris, Tennessee, snow. Bruce Lee, welcome to the show. Johnny Glasscock, snowing in Blytheville. Thank you very much for that one. 32 and windy in Ripley, Tennessee. Elvis Etheridge, thank Thank you for joining uh, the show. And George Turks, Dyersburg getting snow uh, for this morning as well. Debbie Moore Stone, this may just get my blueberries. I hope not. I could use a good blueberry Sunday, so that's uh, something to consider right there. Really haven't had a good mixture of blueberries and fruit in the ice cream maker recently, so we'll have to take a look and see how that goes. What we've got is, again, mainly light activity. But we are going to continue to see this area here. The pink and purple is rain mixing with, changing over to snow. Green is just plain rainfall. And, of course, white and gray is the snow showers that we've been taking a look at for this morning. Drifting on down, they're going to continue to dwindle as they make their way to the southeast. So accumulations out of this, yes, but we're just not looking at all that much at this point in time. Some of the accumulations up here... Uh, getting reports in and around the area of Fair Dealing in and around Ripley, Missouri, uh, reporting some snow showers there. Also getting some snow showers reported into and around Dexter in Stoddard County in Missouri at this point. And a lot more coming down into parts of western Kentucky. Snow around Benton in Marshall County. And also seeing, this is pretty uh, heavy snowfall for this time of the year, one inch of snow around the National Weather Service in Paducah in Kentucky. So we are seeing some substantial amounts out there for this morning. But notice that we do not have uh, anything really going on into and around. No reports just yet in the Mid-South area. So if we do have anything out there, go to the National Weather Service page. They have a storm report section, and you can fill out the information that will put your report on the map. So please consider that out there. Also tonight, this is going to be reissued going into very early tomorrow morning. Let me go ahead and clear this off and reposition this so we can see what's going on. Freeze warning in effect until 9 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. The temperatures tonight are going to be dropping once again into the 20s and 30s. So if you have plants outdoors and if you have pets outdoors, remember they have to have adequate shelter if they are outdoor animals. If they don't, that could be considered animal neglect, which is a misdemeanor crime in all 50 states and rapidly heading toward felony status in several state legislatures. Don't believe me? Check out the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals, and you'll find out a lot more about that. But in the meantime, pets and plants, protect those tonight. You may want to open up the cabinet doors in the kitchen and leave a little bit of a drip of hot water going just to be on the safe side. That loss of hot water tonight going through your pipes is minuscule compared to what you're going to have to do to clean up after a water pipe burst. So please consider that as you head into around bedtime into later on tonight. So please keep that in mind for this evening. Into this evening, and again, very cold temperatures right now. 30s, these are the warmest numbers across the Mid-South as of about 914 early on uh, Saturday morning. And wind chills are down into the lower to mid-20s. So that's what you're going to have to deal with as you head out the door. Even wind chills in the 20s around Ole Miss. Northern Mississippi still pretty chilly for this morning. Likewise across much of the rest of the Mid-South. So please keep that in mind. Carolyn Rook, a friend, posted that it's snowing in Horn Lake. Uh, there could be some scattered snow showers out there for the time being, but much of what we're looking at right now is just light amounts of anything else uh, at this point in time. Sandra Cyril's can't wait. 
I can't wait. We get warm weather in Michigan next Friday. It's a little bit out of our area, but uh, thank you very much uh, for checking in for that area. Snowing in Nankipu, one of Tim Simpson's favorite towns. Connie Duvall, thank you very much uh, for that one. Theris Warren, when will it warm back up? We'll have that forecast coming up here uh, in just a little bit. So again, keep that in mind. 28 in Senatobia, Bozo Wolf Oak. Thank you very much uh, for joining us at this time. Memphis weather is bipolar. Dev David O. Williams, uh, can't argue with that, but then that's what we call job security here for the meteorologists, so something to consider there. Rest of the afternoon, again, we're going to see this mixture of rain and snow possible, but keep in mind that as the afternoon goes along, temperatures down toward the ground will be a lot warmer, like in the lower 40s. Yes, I know that doesn't sound quote-unquote warmer, and believe me, I hate making the air quotes more than you hate seeing them. So again, down toward the surface, a little bit warmer, lower 40s, but that's going to be well above freezing, so even if it's snow several thousand feet up, a lot of this is going to change into green rainfall down here, and that'll be again throughout the rest of the day because it's just too warm down toward the surface with temperatures in the 40s. Now, the good news in a couple of locations is that whatever we have in the way of rain and snow showers will be leaving the area, dwindling as it goes to the southeast as we head into later on this afternoon, and then through about dinner time, around about News Channel 3 at 10, that should do it for the rainfall. But that also brings in another consideration. When you have the cloud cover making its way through the area, any cloud cover will do a good job of holding the heat down toward the surface. Now, as those clouds drift away, that heat can go right straight upwards and radiate away from the ground. And that means temperatures, by the time we hit very early tomorrow morning, will be easily back to around freezing. And that's where we're getting the frost from. So again, pets and plants going to need to make certain they're taken care of. More clouds start to make their way in as we go into Sunday afternoon and more chances of rainfall as we get into around Sunday night. Not a lot, but at least some anyway uh, into and around the area. All right, for those of you who are waiting for the spring weather, here we go. Temperatures today, mid-40s. 25 degrees below normal for this time of the year, so that gives you an idea as to how much powerful that cold front was that dropped all this into the area. Mid-50s tomorrow, an improvement, but still below normal. Mostly clear in the morning, that's going to allow the frost to form, increasing clouds through lunchtime, and then chances of rain by dinner time and News Channel 3 at 10 on Sunday evening. Some of those showers could linger into Monday morning, so definitely want to stay tuned for Todd Demers forecast bright and early on Daybreak Monday, and unfortunately, Corey may have more to talk about with time saver traffic, so please keep that in mind before you head out the door on early Monday. Now, through the rest of the week, Normal, at least, we will get back closer to that as we go toward about Wednesday. Much nicer as we go toward Thursday and Friday, so all we have to do is just wait until the end of the week, and so we will be getting at least a little bit closer to those numbers. And as an added bonus, if you take a look down here in the precipitation boxes, slight chances Sunday night into Monday morning, but then that's it. We may not see anything in the way of rainfall through next weekend and into the early part of the second full week of April coming up, or let's see, one, two, three, third full week of April coming up. So again, maybe some dry conditions out there that'll help us to wring things out by just a little bit out there, and some pretty comfortable numbers all the way on through. A little cool in the morning, maybe some 40s by next week Monday, but outside of that, looking a lot nicer and at least drying out for a little bit, so that'll be very cool out there as well. Uh, Tyrell McMahon, 73, back to you from WV4W. KG4GKE, amateur radio call signs right there, the way we say nice talking to you, basically. So thank you very much uh, for that call sign right there for right now. Or see, oh, is WV4W George Moore. Okay, is that, that's your call sign or Tyrell? Not too sure. Uh, who's his witch on that one, but thanks a lot to either of you for checking in for this morning. A lot of you out there not appreciating the cool weather. My co-anchor is one of them, and on her Twitter feed for this morning, kind of demonstrating the fact that uh, not really enjoying the cooler weather, as a lot of you are doing for right now. So thank you, Nina Harrelson, for that one. Louis Haskett from Northeast Arkansas. Skip the weather dog out keeping an eye on what's going on into and around the area. So keeping an eye for right now some more snowfall in and around 
northeast Arkansas. Didn't get a exact location on this, but usually he reports from around northeast Arkansas. And some nicer spring colors from earlier this week. James R. Gulledge, frequent contributor to our weather pictures out there. If you'd like to get your pictures on here so all of you can see stuff like this, I'd love to show them, but if you don't send them, there's nothing I can do. So if you'd like to email them to me, email address is right here in the blue bar, or you can get, again, the information to me on various social media networks and be glad to have you along for the ride. Twitter, Aonic underscore WREG3. Instagram, Aonic no underscore necessary, WREG3. And on Facebook, Austin Onic WREG. One giant compacted word, alphabet soup there. So you'll be able to find me all over social media. What's coming up on the Facebook page for later on today? Lots of stuff from Sea Voice News. 52 weeks, 52 challenges, your opportunity to make a better planet. It starts with you, it starts with me, it starts with everybody working together, and there's a lot we can do to cure a lot of the planet's problems by using that mentality. So if you'd like to reduce the amount of fast food waste that you get, it's going to be one of their challenges for the year. And again, that's Sea Voice News to take a look at. One week until the March for Science 2018. It's a great opportunity to talk up science, to advocate for science, to get you or your kids kids interested in some form of science. The signs that are on the march that were there last year, very inspiring to see it. And if you'd like to see more about the lead up to the March for Science, uh, we're not having one in Memphis this year. Apparently, I could try to look for one. There was one last year, but not this year. But uh, again, hopefully some of the ones around the country will be just as equally as colorful and vocal for the cause of science. Definitely want to get out there and support scientists and ask questions and be curious. The real patriots out there are the ones that ask questions. So if you'd like to know more about that, that'll be coming up a little bit later on. And owls in urban environments, they are there in various species in various cities kind of hard to see, but if you'd like to know more about where to look for them and how, all you have to do is follow the National Audubon Society. Just one of the things we'll be talking about this weekend on my Facebook page at facebook.com slash austinonicwreg. Can't get my forecast online or on air. All you have to do is dial us up on the radio, Country 92.5 and Oldies 102.3 on the East Arkansas Broadcast Network stations. Rescheduled for this next week around Brighton, Tennessee. Tuesday, April 10th. If you'd like to know more about the Skywarn program, if you live around West Tennessee, haven't had a chance to attend the Storm Spotter training, now's the chance to do it. The last two right here. This one rescheduled from earlier this week when we had severe weather. This one rescheduled from the winter weather that we had a few weeks ago. This one in Helena, West Helena, Arkansas, that'll be held at the Phillips Community College Bonner Student Center on Campus Road in Helena, West Helena, Arkansas. These are the last two. You can take the course online if you'd like to know where from National Center for Atmospheric Research, National College for Atmospheric Research. I'll e email that information to you if you'd like to see more about that. So contact me there with more details, or you can contact the National Weather Service in Memphis for more about their schedule, about when the next meetings will be coming up. Coming up on my schedule as we go throughout the rest of the weekend, updates on the snow showers out there, and again, keeping an eye on the weather into next week, which should be much nicer, sunnier conditions, but just not for right now. So again, that's the way the weather works around here. If you don't like it, again, it sounds cliche, but sometimes it's true. Just all you have to do is wait for a little bit, and then it will definitely be different. No question about that. Contact me again at austin.onic at wreg.com, these social media networks, and of course on our main weather page, wreg.com slash weather. I'll be on later on tonight on News Channel 3 at 5, 6, and 10, and also again on our webpage for more details, and we'll be posting this weather blog on YouTube and on have another one coming up on Periscope here in just about 15 minutes. Thanks to everybody for joining us for a quick weather update on Saturday morning and stay tuned for a lot more weather information coming up throughout the rest of the weekend on News Channel 3 on air and online. Live and direct from downtown, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining us on WREG News Channel 3's exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime.